banging out this one. This is how it works. This is a dude. The little lady was over here earlier today, getting ready for getting ready for work. I have all this work to do because it's fucking Monday, and I knew it was going to be a bad morning when the alarm went off, and she ignored it. I'm like, oh, this bitch isn't getting out of here for a while now, is she? I'm going to have because weekends suck for me, where it's like the work builds up. And I gotta get are you Monday. That's where you got it. You gotta get your first blow in on Monday. Gotta get your first blow in on Monday. Oh, you're gonna lollygag, aren't you? And I'm just gonna sit here and have to wait to get my fucking work done. Oh, interesting. So now we gotta fit it in any which way. We got a man up in the classic sense, not the uh, modern day sense where it's like, I'll go fuck that single mom over there and give her children and then you know, marry her. Give her children first, then marry. It's the uh, old school man up. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to work. We're gonna have to get this stuff done. All right. Where did it go? Of the millions of tabs I have open, because I have a lot of fucking work to do today. David writes. Hey, I have a clarity test request on Jack Dorsey, CEO, founder of Twitter and Square. I'm trying to troll the conservatives who want to see him get a four, but he's going to get a zero. Laugh out loud. P.S. I'm a right-leaning libertarian, but see ideological conservatives and liberals getting mad is funny. <clears throat> What's funny is I've already done a clarity test on Jack Dorsey. <laughs> I just took your money, and I'm going to do another one now. And you're right. He is. I do have some, a significant amount of respect for Jack Dorsey. It happens. It happens. I just did one on, on Megan, or not Megan, Gretchen Whitaker, Whit Whitmer, sorry. Uh, yeah, but Jack Dorsey is uh, pretty much, uh, he's legit. Uh, we don't agree on his politics, but All right, he's my age. American Computer Program, Internet Entrepreneur, is the co-founder and CEO of Twitter and founder of CEO of Square, a mobile payments company. All right, so he has real legit work. He's still working that real legit work. We knock out two right there. So, so far, a score of zero. Let's go see if he was pampered. Maybe he was pampered. I'm not sure. Uh, son of Tim and Marsha Dorsey. He's English, Irish, Italian descent. Father worked for a company that developed mass spectrometers. Mother is a homemaker. He's raised Catholic. Uncle is a priest. Boo. -boo. Dorsey worked occasionally as a fashion model. By 14, Dorsey had become interested in dispatch routing. Some of the open source software he created in the area of dispatch logistics is still used by taxi cab companies. He attended University of Missouri before transferring to New York, dropped out in 1999, went semester of got the idea of Twitter. He was probably a programming major, so he didn't major in stupid shit. And then he went right into working and in entrepreneurship. Yeah, here it is where he did the dispatch for the couriers and taxis. Uh, and inspired by live drone AOL instant messenger, he had an idea for web-based real-time short, a status short message communication service. When he first saw implementations of instant messaging, Dorsey wondered whether the software's user status output could be shared easily among friends. He approached Odeo, which at the time happened to be interested in text messaging. Yeah, it's one of those things I bet where um, the Walton brothers approached uh, Ben Franklin chain stores and they said get out of here with your idea about low cost and big scale and then they just had to go do it themselves odeo was there is all you need to know odeo was it don't exist no more odeo was a directory and research destination website ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. <clears throat> career so he started working right away I'm just going through this. Yeah. Okay. So I was a year younger than me. All right. <clears throat> We're 3.9 billion. Has Twitter made money yet? Square probably has. Square no doubt has. Um, and didn't he jet off to Africa and now he's off to Africa? He walks five miles to work each morning, calls it a very clearing time. I can't fault him for that. Kendrick Lamar. You know. Dorsey completed 10 days of meditation from some Indian guy. I thought he moved to... Oh, you donated to Andrew Yang. Oh, Jack, you fool. 
Oh, did you actually think the other people's monies was going to solve the problems? Has the welfare state not proven that wrong to you? Dorsey fully funded about 600 Missouri public school projects. Dorsey donated 350,000. Uh, respond to relief programs of the coronavirus. He committed to funding COVID-19 relief, girls' education, health, and universal basic. Hey, hey, Jack, you can liquidate your positions anytime. He does donate to welfare, uh, uh, to charity. <laughs> well, not, not a Freudian slip. It's true. Uh, move one billion of his equity share in Square Inc. To have, okay, he's legit. He's doing it. <clears throat> he's doing it. Study economics more and history a little bit more. I can't, I can't hate this guy. I can't get on the hate train for him. I just can't. He's honest. Um, so he didn't come from wealth. He made it himself. He's been an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. He was an entrepreneur. He continues to be an entrepreneur. Now he's being a philanthropist. I. It's tragic. A guy like this built up that much amazing wealth and money only to piss it away on nonprofits that will not make a dent. I mean, Jack may as well just take that money and burn it up as far as I'm concerned because it's not going to make a change. And this is why I wish all these uber-rich uh, West Coast uh, Silicon Valley people, I wish they just study economics because uh, you spent all this time and money building up all this amazing money, and you think you're going to solve this problem? I mean, if the government threw trillions at it, you with your paltry billion-dollar equity stake in Square Incorporated, is it going to do shit, Jack? But it, you know what it's all about? You know what it's all about? It's all about feeling good. All about feeling good. It's all the feels. All the feels. Such about the feels. Okay, Jack, should he run for office? He has every right to. I wouldn't vote for him because he, he he's, he's really good at programming. He's not good at lowering poverty and economics. He's not good about being a dick. Um, and then would I have a beer with him? Yeah, I'd have a beer with Jack Dorsey. I would. I probably have a beer with it. And he gets a perfect score, score of zero. So no no doubt there. Well, thanks for the 25 bucks, by the way. That was awesome. That was great. And that will go to my not. You know what today's donations will go to if you want to tune into the uh, Corona Champ podcast? Uh, today's donations are all going to estimated tax payments. Second quarter. Because it just we just need a little bit more money. Then we'll solve all the world's problems for the children's. <sighs> What's the Han Yarkers up to? It's not a, okay, Juan. This isn't an Apple Watch. This is a Fitbit. It's a cheap ass shit. It, it's two hundred bucks. Atham recommended it to me. The first string quarterback you're the backup to. He recommended it to me. So me and Bacon could compete and, and mouth off. And me and uh, Marcus. Well, now Marcus is in the Navy, so he can't really do these competitions. All right, that's it. I'm going to try to get another one in here before we do the podcast. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.